So in this video, I'm going to talk through the example that I presented in the last video. I forgot to add that uh, V equals 10% and W equals 10%. And remember, V is the target reserve ratio and W is the cash drain. So suppose there is $100 of new money and let the following be the following. And the cash held by people, well, the cash held by people, that would be W and 10% of $100 is $10 so the first step cash held by people is $10 now the cash held by banks is also $10 because they're holding 10% too that leaves us eleven uh, eighty dollars used for loans 100 minus the the cash held by banks and the cash held by people now in the second round we're gonna take these uh, uh, this eighty dollars, and then use it further for loans. So then the cash held by people would now be uh, eight dollars. The cash held by banks would be eight dollars, and the deposits used for loans would now be sixty four dollars. And this is a continuous process. In the in the third round, we're using the sixty four dollars of new money, and then there would be people would be holding six point four, banks would be holding six point four. And uh, and for loans, the, the deposits, the new money for deposits used for loans would now be fifty one twenty. And this continues until we probably drop down to, to zero. And at the end of it, uh, we sum them all up. So we sum these all up, and uh, I get fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. And uh, and four hundred dollars. Now, uh, you can go through the calculations uh, by yourself, but you can trust me on this. As uh, this is what my notes say. And now I'm gonna show you uh, and so another way of getting. Uh, so before that, uh, notice that our total total. Uh, total amount of money that is created is five hundred dollars so we just took a hundred dollars of new money and made five hundred from it four hundred plus fifty plus fifty now I'm gonna give you a formula now that helps you calculate the same uh, the same five hundred dollars without uh, going through this long and arduous process so this formula is called a uh, change in money supply and my professor actually gave me some really disgusting notes, but I'll just cut to the part that you really need to know, and that is uh, the formula is 1 over V plus W, and you take that and you times it by the new money. Times it by the new money. And uh, I guess this part is pretty much what we call the money multiplier. The money multiplier and so using the same uh, same values that we had uh, for the example we have uh, this change in MS equaling to 1 over 0.1 plus 0.1 because we had 10% each right so 0.1 plus 0.1 that will give us a uh, 0.2 and uh, this will pretty much equal to 1 over 0.2 is equal to 5, right? So we take that and times it by 100, and we get $100 of new money, right? So we get $500. So the change, that's all, uh, yeah. So the change in a uh, total cash is uh, pretty much uh, $500, or the change in money supply is $500. We took a hundred dollars of new money and we changed it and we got 500. Uh, so we pretty much uh, created through loans because remember I told you in the last video that new money could be created through loans. We created $500 from that $100. And this is what I 